Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification. In that way, you wouldn't miss any time I publish a new video. Also to mention, I started a new YouTube channel, Laura Ford's videos too. So be sure to go across there, give me some support. All right, so what are we going to be making today? Well, today we'll be making a beef bone soup. So let's go over the ingredients that we'll be using in order to make our soup. Okay guys, so I've come into my garden in order to pick some shadow bene so that I could use in my um, beef bone soup this morning. So I'm just going to pick some, just going to pick about two shadow bene leaves. I have my two leaves here. So I'm going to use that. Um, I also have seasoning pepper here so I think I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick um maybe two of these seasoning peppers one two so I have my seasoning pepper here and this over here is called bush basil I'm also gonna get some of that bush basil as well Let's head back inside now. Oh, you know what? I think I'm also going to get some of my spring onions. Let's get some spring onions as well. Yes. Alright, so I have all that I need to put in my soup. So let's get into all the ingredients that we're going to need in order to make our soup. So here we have some carrots, we have some bush basil, some cabbage, some parsley, some shadow bene for my garden, some spring onions which I also picked from my garden, of course the bush basil is for my garden as well. We have some butternut squash here. I have some broccoli stalks. So what you can do um, if you're making a dish where you only want to use the broccoli florets and you have this stalk remaining, what you can do is that you can save it, put it in the freezer. So whenever you need to make a soup, you can cut up your broccoli stalks and use it for your soup. Here I have some red split lentils. I have some onion, a little piece of onion, about two cloves of garlic and two of the seasoning peppers that I picked from my garden here. And of course here I have my beef bones. Now this, um, I seasoned this yesterday with some green seasoning and some salt. So this was um, in the fridge overnight. So we have our beef bones. And of course we're gonna use some chicken broth, some water, salt, and of, of course some, some olive oil. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna pressure cook this beef bone. So um, I'm gonna just, add some water i'm going to brown it first add some water and we're going to pressure cook our beef bones until they are nice and soft and then we will put everything else together i'm also going to pressure cook the um the lentils as well the red lentils along with the beef bones so let's get into cooking everything um, also to mention i'm also going to be adding some dried thyme to my soup as well okay so what we're going to do now is put some oil in the base of our pressure cooker here okay i'm gonna add in my onion garlic and seasoning pepper a little distracted there guys so I apologize for that. Let me quickly add in my beef bone. I'm going to 
I didn't make the seasoning that was um used to marinate my beef bones. I'm gonna add in my red lentils. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about two cups of water. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is allow this to come up to a boil and then I'm gonna cover it and pressure cook this beef bone until it's nice and tender. Okay, so now that we have finished pressure cooking our, our beef bone, now we're going to add in our, our vegetables. So we're going to add some chicken broth to this. I'm also going to add some dried thyme to this. So we're going to bring this up to a boil and cook all our vegetables. After the vegetables are cooked, we then will taste for salt. Okay guys, so as you can see, our beef bone soup is coming along very nicely. vegetables are it's nice and soft of course don't forget to taste your soup so that you will know if you need to add any more salt to it oh that was hot <laughs> Maybe I'll just add a tad bit. So we don't want to add too much salt. All right, guys. So as you can see, our beef bone soup is coming along really nicely. Um, the vegetables are getting soft. Of course, don't forget you will taste it to see if it has enough salt to your preference. Um, as you can see, as I'm standing here, I'm getting a beef bone soup facial. So that's another benefit of making soup. You can get free facial. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to add black pepper, you can. You notice I didn't add any black pepper. That's because it's my personal preference. Um, black pepper does affect me. So I try to avoid it at certain times when my stomach is giving trouble. So, um, but you can add it or you could even drop in a hot pepper if you want or you know whatever you want you just make it your own another thing that you can add to your beef bone soup if you desire is um, some dumplings um, but I'm not going to add any dumplings to my beef bone soup I'm just going to make it um, you know I'm just going to leave it with the vegetables alone if, but if you want to add dumplings you can you can add a um, cornmeal dumpling to it if you so desire 